Hey guys, I'm Becca and this is my BookCon book haul. This year was my first year going to BookCon and I got a ton of books and merch and everything. So let's get started. The first book I got is Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. I got this signed by Jenny Han, who I got to meet twice that day, which is awesome because I love Jenny Han's writing. I also picked up a copy of Jacoby by William Ritter. I met the author and got this signed and personalized and was also able to snag an arc of the third book in the series, Ghostly Echoes. I haven't read Jacoby yet, so I'm excited to read the series. I've been wanting to read it for a while. I snagged an arc of The Lazy Dragon and The Bumble Spiels Wizard by Kath Boyd Marsh. This is a middle grade fantasy book and it sounded really fun and interesting. From the same booth I got a copy of Giants and Ogres Fairy Tale Villains Reimagined. This is a collection of short stories about ogres and giants but the twist is that they are doing good things instead of evil things that you usually see in stories. And I also got this cute little bookmark that matches the cover of the book. I got an arc of The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid and this is a YA sci-fi book. It looks like it's gonna be pretty interesting. Also got an arc of Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow and this is a YA contemporary about a girl that is struggling with self harm which is always an important topic to read about and I really like the cover. I think the cover is really interesting and the paper that it's bound in has a really cool texture to it so I'm pretty excited to pick this one up. I picked up Razor Girl which is also an arc by Carl Heisen. Probably said that wrong. This is the book that was being advertised on the book on badges so when I saw it sitting on the table I thought I might as well pick it up. I also got Dark Blood by Caleb James and I got it signed by the author and this is an adult horror novel and he writes a lot of horror and he also wrote a YA paranormal series. Also got Mars with Venus Rising by Hope Toller Doherty and this is actually a Christian romance but it did sound like chick lit. It's about a 20 something that's just trying to find love. Next I got an arc of Memory Girl by Linda Joy Singleton and this is a why a dystopian fantasy type thing? Scientists have discovered how to transplant memories into someone else and I guess teens are the ones that they transplant the memories into and then the teens are then moved into the family whose memories that they get. So all the teens are really looking forward to moving into their new families except for the main character who doesn't really want to do that and is worried that she won't still be herself after she gets these new memories. It sounds like it's going to be really interesting. I got an arc of We Know It Was You by Maggie Thrash. This seems like it's going to be a YA contemporary about a girl that commits suicide and only two other people know why she did it. So it's also probably going to be kind of a thriller. I'm looking forward to it. This sounds like it's going to be right up my alley. I also grabbed a cozy mystery and got it signed by the author. This is Murder on Wheels by Lynn Cahoon and I love cozy mysteries so much. I think that they're so cute and fun. I haven't read any of my cat ones yet but I'm definitely looking forward to it and it was funny because Allegra and Lyndon, the girls that I went to BookCon with, don't really know much about cozy mysteries so I was telling them about it and this book came with some leaflets on the author's other books so Lyndon was like reading the descriptions of those in the car and we were laughing and it was really funny because cozy mysteries are just freaking hilarious and I love them. I got an arc of Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven who is the author of All the Bright Places and I didn't even realize that until after I got home with this book. I just thought that the cover was really pretty. It was sitting on the same table that I got Girl in Pieces at and I asked if this one was free as well and the lady kind of gave me like a dirty look but handed it to me anyway so I'll take it. And this seems like it's going to be about two teenagers 
that couldn't be more different and they meet up in the same group therapy. I'm really excited. I haven't read All the Bright Places yet, but I definitely want to. I got The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, and I actually got it autographed by Maggie, and I love her signature. It's really cool looking. You needed a wristband to go to the autographing session for Maggie Stiefvater, but when I was in line for the Ransom Rig signing, apparently someone on the book on app posted that since there was no one in Maggie's line and she wasn't going to be signing for that much longer, if you didn't have a wristband, you could go and jump in her line if you didn't have a wristband. And so me and a couple other girls were like, how can we not do that? But when we got over to her line, the employee working the line didn't know what we were talking about, but since we were able to show it to her on the app, she let us in, and I'm so excited. I was not expecting to get this at all. I haven't read The Raven Boys, and Maggie asked me that, and I said no, and I felt really bad, so now I definitely have to read it. I'm super excited. Everyone on BookTube seems to love The Raven Cycle so much, so I can't wait to jump into this one. I also got three children's books that are really cute. One about a cat that makes a mess in the house, but I don't know where those went. They kind of got lost in the shuffle with moving. I'm sure I'll find them eventually. And I got a teen self-help book that just kind of got handed to me. I'm not super interested in it, so I'll probably post it on Instagram and maybe give it away if someone is interested in that book. So make sure to follow me on Instagram. All my links are down below. And yeah, you could get that book if that's something you're interested in. Okay, those are all the books that I got. So now let's move on to the merch. The first thing I got is the shirt that I'm wearing, which I got at the Harry Potter Alliance booth. And it says, when in doubt, go to the library. And that is, of course, a Hermione Granger quote. And I love it so much. It's super comfortable and I'm glad that I got it. The first poster I got is just a movie poster for the BFG. This is my favorite Raoul Dahl book ever. I'm so beyond excited that this is being made into a movie and I'm happy that I was able to get this poster. I also got this James Patterson poster that kind of got messed up in the corner so I'm kind of bummed about that and it's really crinkly. I need to get a frame for it ASAP but it says there's no such thing as a kid who hates reading. There are kids who love reading and kids who are reading the wrong books. The last poster I got is one that I waited in line for literally an hour and a half but I got a signed poster for Tales of the Peculiar. It's signed right down there and obviously I already framed it because I'm so freaking excited. I also got a a cute candle from the Owl Crate booth. The scent is Reading at the Cafe. It's brown on the inside. It looks kind of sparkly. I'm not a big fan of the scent at all. Like, ooh, it's icky smelling. But maybe it'll be better once it's lit. I know Josh really likes it, so what can you do? I got a James Patterson bumper sticker that says, We read in our house which we do, so I'm really excited to put this on my car. I got a ton of bookmarks. The first one is advertising Let's Get Lost by a DL said, and on the other side it's advertising Never, Som Never Always Sometimes, and I actually have Let's Get Lost. I haven't read it yet, but I thought it would be cute to get this bookmark and then use it when I'm reading the book. Also at the Harry Potter Alliance table, I bought a pack of five bookmarks. The first one is a The Fault in Our Stars bookmark, and it says, this is not a bookmark. It's a metaphor for where you stopped reading and that cracked me up when I saw it. The next one says books turn muggles into wizards and on the other side it says no admittance restricted section and has a picture of Dobby. There's a Game of Thrones one on one side it says don't get too attached only winter is certain and on the other side it says it only gets worse. I haven't read Game of Thrones or watch the show yet but I thought that this one was really cute. And this one which I'm probably gonna give to Josh it has a Ron Swanson 
quote on it on one side it says I hate metaphors that's why my favorite book is Moby Dick no frou-frou symbolism just a good simple tale about a man who hates an animal and on the other side it says does the white whale actually symbolize the unknowability and meaninglessness of human existence no it's just an effing fish and Josh took a whole class on Moby Dick so I thought that he would really like this one I've never read it and the last one from the Harry Potter lines table is a Hunger Games one and it says Team Peta, Team Gale, and that's crossed out and it says Team Katniss and has a picture of Katniss. And then on the other side it says Until the Odds Are in Everyone's Favor. The next bookmark I got is really exciting. It's probably my favorite bookmark that I got the whole day. And it is for the thing about jellyfish. And the quote on there is sometimes when we feel most alone the world decides to open up in magical ways. I loved this book so freaking much. I saw this bookmark and I just knew I had to grab it. I also got a riveted YA bookmark. It says YA fiction is our addiction. I also got this bookmark that adds that is advertising the women in the walls. I love horror and thriller books and this one looks absolutely terrifying. I also grabbed a bookmark that is advertising Walk the Edge because I really love the cover. I don't think that I would like the book as much because it has to do with like motorcycles or something. And then on the other side it's advertising Nowhere But Here and Walk the Edge. The last bookmark I got is just the BookCon bookmark where storytelling and pop culture collide. And on the other side it's just showing a bunch of authors that were there at BookCon. I also got some pins. The first one is this BFG pin. Next I picked up this pin when I was getting Jacoby signed. It goes with Jacoby and if this would freaking focus. There we go. It says do not stare at the frog. So apparently that has to do with Jacoby. I also got these two pins from the Harry Potter Alliance table. They're like emojis but this one is Harry and this one is Ron. And I thought they were so cute. I got this one that's super cute and it says will work for books. This one that's just plain white and says choose books. This one which is super cute and just has a bunch of rainbow books on it. And probably my most favorite pin is this pin that is the Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon logo. If my camera would freaking focus instead of a prism it's a book so it's refracting through the book. I freaking love Pink Floyd so much. I also got a ton of tote bags. This first one is from Forever Yours. It's just like a grocery bag type bag. Book lovers never go to bed alone. Next I got this blue tote from First in Line presented by Random House. Be the first to read the last line. And on the other side they must have had a booth or something because other people were filling this in. It says I read blank before you did so you can fill in a book title that you read before everyone else and I really don't know what I'm gonna put in there. I also got this Epic Reads tote bag. They had bins and bins of these so I'm pretty sure everyone who went to BEA BookCon probably got a ton of these totes. I saw some people walking around with like four or five of them. So it just says Epic Reads on here and then a bunch of book titles and then on the back it says book shimmy. And the last tote bag I got which I'm actually using as a purse right now because I love it so much is just this black one I got in line when I was waiting for Jacoby and it says between the pages of a book is a lovely place to be and it says book con 2016 on the bottom which is what I really liked because I don't have anything other than that bookmark that says book con on it. So I'm super excited. And that is all of the stuff that I got at book con. I can't believe how much stuff I got. That's it for me today. If you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more bookish videos. As always thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!